Okay, I thought I'd just sort of give you a little comparison, side by side comparison of the original uh, Comics 35 and the, uh, the modern homebrew. Excellent homebrew version by uh, Tube Time. So basically the same size, roughly the same size. I've um, tried to, let me see, I haven't really finished the keyboard yet. Um, you've got your, uh, if you look on the original Comics 35, uh, just above the shift, you've got your plus, minus, multiplication and division. So you can get some of those keys. Um, so I'm thinking I might do that. Um, and I thought the colour, the colour, how am I going to show this? <laughs> the colour of the orange kind of matches. So you can see what we've got here is... Um, well, obviously the joystick has been replaced by the, the cursor keys. I've got my, there's no shift on this side like there is here. Carriage return, got my orange there. Shift, well, that's not orange. Delete's not orange, I'm sorry either. Well, okay, neither's control, but I've got my escape and my RT button. I've gone for a small, small space bar because I didn't have the, um, Long stabilizer bar. Um, generally, it's a uh, the key the key pat, uh, caps are a good match. We've got a question mark by itself, whereas we've got question mark and forward slash. Um, you know, we've got comma and full stop. We've got comma, semicolon, full stop, and full colon, um, which are well, which I don't actually have on here, do I? And then you've got some differences up on the number pads here. Um, for example, you know, this one's got asterisk. Whereas here we've got, uh, what, the inverted commas? Apostrophe? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, four is a dollar sign. Five percent. Five percent. Six and percent. Six, we've got the carrot. Seven is, a, is apostroph apostrophe. Whereas it's ampersand on here, eight is uh, you know, asterisk. Whereas it's uh, open square bracket close. So yeah, there's a few few minor differences there. Otherwise, um, I haven't put on the I haven't put on the uh, expansion port here because well, <laughs> good luck, good luck getting something that goes in there. Um, what else? I've got uh, the turbo. This is a eighteen oh two AC, so I think it can do up to three point five megahertz. So I've got three point five megahertz crystal there, turbo switch there. Um, what else? What else? What else? Yes, I should try try loading some software. Um, speaker. I've just got a two pin header. And then I've made, I've got a, um, got a little bit burnt when I, a little bit melted when I um, did the, oh God, I'm forgetting all my words today. Um, shrink, shrink tube, oh, 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 whatever, you know what I mean. Anyway, so a two pin header there and then 3.5 mil mono there. So I can just plug it in. And then I've just got a, a little speaker. And there's my audio. So I think we should um, load some software. Pause. Pause. Okay, we're all set up. Okay. Let me just show you what's going on here. So as I found get out of the way sometimes it starts up in a weird state so holding down the reset button seems to clear it okay now i've got audacity set up on the mac up there now i found on the real com 
x35 I had to drop the gain by minus 12 dB so let's just see what happens on this one okay let's see I've got the little green LED showing data oh help my type payload Guys, you can adjust. You can just adjust the input bias here. So that's turning it up, I think. It's got well, another three minutes to go, so um, I'll be back. Okay, it seems to have loaded. Um, cool, okay. Uh, where was I again? I'm there. So the colors are pretty washed out, but that's um, mainly because I would say that I've got the well, the capacitor that couples the chroma to the luma to generate the composite, I've got that disconnected. So I still need to sort that out, I think. Okay. Oh, you only get one life. Jeez. Oh, that's right. Eric, yes, I remember getting this last time. Um... Line five hundred. I don't know if I can do list five. Can do list five hundred on this one. Can really strange. I don't know, so I'm used to Amstrad, so um, this is where I need to redo the keys on here. I think. Um, or oh, have the <laughs> yeah. Where is the dash? Cool. I do like using the keyboard's nice. The keyboard's nice. Oh, it's one of these ones, isn't it? So I don't know if this will let me do this, will it? No, it won't let me do that. Oh, I should ask myself. I think he's the guy who wrote um, the Emma. Emma emulator. Yes, that's really weird. A dollar become equals five three five eight seven web. I don't know what that means. That doesn't sound right. Okay, well that loaded. So um, cool. Let's try and load. Get your gadget. So I didn't have to do anything then. So even when I was fiddling with the um, input bias, it was okay. So I just leave it like that. So on the Com Comex 35, I had to drop the gain by minus 12. Then I just loaded it. Gain zero. So just as it as it came. Gain plus two. I guess if I dropped the gain on Audacity, then I would just have to increase the increase the bias there. All right, can we clear that with new? Okay. Okie dokie, P load, and this is another, oh, what's like almost four and a half minutes. Um, that's ready to go. No, okay. Ah, oh, bloody audacity. I've got this, some bloody loop accidentally set on here. How do I, ah. Uh, how do I clear the loop? Um, use my Mac keyboard. Loop on off. Oh, no, no. Clear looping region. Okay, why is it still there, though? 
All right, let's try that again. Payload. Oh. What the? Why did it jump back to the looping region? Oh, oh. Really? Loop on, off. Clear looping region. Why is that still there then? Mm hmm. Oh, I don't. Mm. For me, I know it's probably makes a lot of sense to everyone else, but Audacity's got some strange commands. Counterintuitive. Okay, so playhead's right at the start. Okay, so it looks like it's cleared the looping region now. Long lead in. Okay. Another four minutes of this. So I'll pause and come back. So this is Get Your Gadget. Almost there. Done. There we go. Oh, turning the volume up. S is start and E is end. All right. Let's see how I go with this. Let me uh, let me reposition. Okay, so this used the um, inbuilt joystick, and I think space to shoot. Let's do S. So I'm using the cursor keys here. Yep. Get that. Now, what did I do? That's how you shoot down. Okay. Um, I did go down this way, didn't I? Okay. Can I shoot that or did I? Oh no, I've got no. Did I get a key? Oh no, there's the key right up there. Go back to get the key. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. All right, so I need to. No, I don't do that. Yep, okay. Oh no, that's that needs. Oh, okay. All right, so you just shoot the key. Okay, right, right. Shoot the key. Okay. Down. Cross. Now there is. Okay, if you wanna. I. So you gotta go. Okay, you go like that. To get that. But if I turned around there. I'm going to crash into that side there. So how do I... I turn around... Ah! <laughs> I am going to figure this game out. Alright. You can't shoot the buildings. Can you go this way? 
Oh, oh, okay. I didn't realize you could do that. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here's more action. Here's more action. Okay, okay. Well, that's one way to get it. All right. I don't know what gadgets are. I should read the instructions. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Scaredy. All right. Okay, let's go down here. This one's down here. <laughs> okay, I got that one. me oh okay so I actually start off in here okay I think I might fly around ah got me anyway let's get your gadget so that okay so that's that's gadgets okay that's the things So while you're trying to do all this, you get these guys respawning. And they stay away from your bullet. They don't fly into your bullets. Oh, I wasn't watching what I was doing. Yeah, there we go. E to end. Nope. Um, there we go. There we go. Ah, oh, so a lot of machine code. Um, there we go. What else? What else can I show? Um, let me think. Well, I guess that's basically it. Um, let's say just another brief view of the board. So five volts in. There's my little speaker connection. Reset button, very handy. That's your for recording out. Um, that's your audio in for playing your tapes. Composite out. Um, that's what I was going to do. I was going to check. I was going to check how much RAM it had because it's got 32K there, 32K there, 32K there. So the Comix 35 comes with 30, 32K plus 3K of video RAM. Hence the 35. So let me research. Let me see how to check how much RAM, how much RAM it's got. Okay, I found it. Nothing exciting. Uh, print mem. Thir 31k. Hmm. So I don't know why do we have. Don't know. Unless the ROM is copied into RAM. Hmm. Don't know. There we go. Anyway, that answers my question. Uh, for now, goodbye. I hope this was vaguely of interest.